Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good afternoon to all. Today is 2nd of November 2021. Our class on Malaysian culture today is on the religious diversity and religious architecture buildings in Malaysia. Let us share the screen now. Check, attend, uh, check our telegram first. Our telegram last week have um, what we have. Oh, no, we don't have last week, last two weeks. Yeah. It was on the unity in diversity, religion culture. And today is religious building. Okay, religious building. That's what I'm going to go through now. Yep. Yeah. Go to the page, our page on Malaysian culture, week. And we're gonna I'm gonna first change the outlook so that it will open like a student. Student opening. Switch role to student view. Student view. Full screen. Go to religions in Malaysia. Al Adyan fi Malaysia. Life in harmony. Even though we have multi religions, but as Islam is the main official religion of the country, the state, all states in Malaysia. But then all other religions are free to be practiced. Check again. Let me check again. Sharing. 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 Share. Ah, the audio. Okay. Done. This is our note, lecture note for today. This is... Uh, Supporting resources, the video. Let's see the video of religions, and then we have. We should have a. We should have Padlet over here, and we just refresh. We need to refresh them. Need to refresh. It doesn't show full, so we refresh. Refresh the screen. Go to this one. Week three. There we are. There we are. Now it's full. Let's have a look at the video of how Malaysians interact and they get to know, they know actually, understand each other by religion and they pay respect. Your wait. You are about to go on a journey of a beautiful country situated in Southeast Asia called Malaysia. Malaysia is a federation of 13 states with 11 on a peninsula and two on the island of Borneo. With a population of over 27 million people, all walks of life and various ethnic city could be seen. Have you ever wondered how could different races live together in harmony? Why is each race unique? What's their religion and beliefs? Now, we are going to discover what is so distinct about each race in this country, which has attracted millions of tourists from all over the world each year. Let's find out more about Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, and Christianity. Religion is an essential part of life for most races. The Chinese in Malaysia practice a mix of beliefs which are influenced by the traditional Chinese religions such as Buddhism and Taoism. Chinese New Year is an important day for the Chinese as it marks the beginning of a new year in the Chinese lunar calendar. Hello, 
桌子，像，然后呢，之后有一个桌子，桌子上面的东西全部摆放的都是信徒们放在这里的礼品。Malay makes up the largest population distribution in Malaysia. Islam is recognized as the national religion, and Muslims out of 61% of the entire population in Malaysia. Legally, a Malay in Malaysia must be a Muslim, whereas non-Malays are free to shift between religions. Many Muslim holidays are also of national holidays, which include the end of Ramadan, the end of the Haji, and the birthday of Prophet Muhammad. Wajib untuk lelaki, perempuan di rumah. Oh, kalau sebelum mau dah selawat awak itu jika the Friday. Okay, nanti jemaah terima kasih kerana terima temu ramah kita. And Hinduism is a religion which is commonly practiced by the Indians. The three main festivals which are celebrated by the Hindus are Tipavali, which is also known as the Festival of Lights, Thaipusam. And Thai Pongo. Today I am facing Nasa Mia in Sri Maharam Temple. It's the oldest and the richest Hindu temple in KL. It is behind me. There's a main prayer song. Those of the Indian prayers used to pray here. That after that they will to have a family gathering. Then beside of the main, two beside of the main prayer hall, there's a few blocks. Yeah, those Hindu prayers after praying the the main gods and then Vishnu. Going two sides to pray the other front. Okay, above of me, this is the structure, main structure of the Hindu temple. With this height of 27 feet and with design of 228 idols. Many of them are used with horses and elephants, and there's some, there are some of the gods with few hands. And this is one of the colorful and the main structure in the Hindu temple. Now we know how Indians pray in the temple. 
And the second question is, uh, what is the national holiday for the Indian? Okay, in Malaysia, we have two national holidays. First is Deepavali and second is Vaipusam. Uh, we generally celebrate Deepavali as a day where good triumphs over evil. It's a day where the festival of life is celebrated because we appreciate the goodness that we have and we want more goodness on earth. And secondly is Saifusas. It is the day where Lord Murga actually received a spear. It's a weapon that he used to kill a demon. So it's a day of victory for him. He actually killed the demon. So that is Saifusas. And that is also a holiday. Christians not only go to church during festival, but also every place to worship their God. They are served with Christmas, Easter, and Good Friday. In the next stream, we have a team member, Queenie. She's doing an interview with a believer of Jesus Christ in a Wesleyan Methodist church. Mm -hmm. I'm Queenie, and we are now here in a Wesleyan Methodist church. This church uh, is known to be in the heart of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, this church has been established since 1897. And this is uh, this year is the uh, 150. Understand, love, tolerate, and mix around with other races. This kind of bond is very special and important to maintain a peaceful and harmonious. That's a video recording interview uh, organized by some students. Uh, they go to the mosque, to the church, to the temple, and so on. And they share the holidays, not that they, they perform the ritual, ibadah, but it's more of share, share the joiners of the day among Malaysians. So, yeah, that's, that's why they live in harmony because of this tolerance and tasamuh uh, between them to understand each other. Let's see another video by the Malay Muslim on the Malacca, Malaysia refers to itself as the World Heritage City. That is because it is the home of so many different religious buildings, faiths, and people. Hi, my name is Suhai. I'm from Malaysia and uh, I'm a Buddhist and I've been Buddhist all my life. And Buddhism is one of the four major religions in Malaysia. The first one is Islam, then the second one is Buddhist, Buddhism, then the third one is Hindu, then Catholic. Indonesia and Malaysia are the only two predominantly Muslim countries in all of Southeast Asia. Um, the story in the Malacca and Indonesia have been connecting each other. Uh, it is Maji Selat Malacca, which is in English is Sweet Malacca Mosque, a mosque on the street of Malacca. And this is the first mosque that is on the ocean. So the idea of this mosque is actually welcome people to come in to take a look, to see how this, the, the real Islam is and how it's being structured, how the architecture looks like. So you don't need to be afraid of coming to take a look. Oh, she said that the, uh, Islam is a good religion, so she had 100% faith in that religion. The mosque may be famous, but it is only one of numerous religious and spiritual places scattered throughout the city. One street, Takong Road, has a Buddhist temple, Hindu temple, and Muslim mosque, all in proximity. This street uh, symbolizes that, that that we can, as the earth, the people of the earth, that we can actually live together on the same street about not fighting. So this is the oldest temple in Malacca and oldest temple in Malaysia. 
oldest Buddhist, uh, Chinese temple in Malaysia. As long as you're here with a sincere heart, you pray to her, then you touch it, just to, just to get a blessing from her. This city in Malaysia truly embraces its diversity. It has many religions and races. Peranakan people are a blend of two cultures, Malay and Chinese, with their own subculture in Malaysia. About two hours north of Malacca is the bustling city of Kuala Lumpur, also religiously diverse. On the outskirts lies the Hindu Batu Caves. We are at Batu Cave, which is in well, part of Kuala Lumpur. And Batu Cave is a Hindu religion uh, cave. That it was, that you can see that there are lots of Hindu god and the 272 staircase. About a year ago, they painted the staircase to, to, to rainbow colors. Hindu is an Indian religion, so I would say maybe like 10% to 12% of Malaysian population are Hindu uh, believers. Overall, this primarily Muslim country is proof that different peoples can coexist harmoniously. So our government support uh, diversity in religion. So being a Buddhist in Malaysia has no problem. So uh, proud to be a Buddhist in Malaysia. Thank you. That video was published by a, an, 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 a Buddhism Malaysian, and they he proud to be Buddhist in Malaysia. They also can tolerate with other religions in openness. Now this is a video that shows the next video will show you uh, a statistical study by an organization to show the numbers population uh, by percentage from. 1 AD until 2100, it predicts how many Muslims will be in Malaysia in year 2100 in the future, starting starting the first of century, the first day of Jesus was born. Uh, there was no Muslim in Malaysia. It was totally controlled by other religions until 2100 and so forth, Muslim will be the majority in Malaysia. Now let's have a look at the video of the study. First AD, starting with, start with year 12 of AD, it was Hinduism, Buddhism, enemies, there's no Islam at, the, at that moment. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is painful, all is good for the day. Islam come to Malaysia only year 1414. So at this time, there's no Muslim. of um, followers of religion in Malaysia. Year 1000. Year 1000. We go on. See the number of Muslims are increasing in Malaysia. Look at the year. Look at the year. Look at the year 
2025, it's predicted the Muslim will be 19,000 in Malay. Other religions are decreasing. That's the end of it. In year 2100, the Muslim will be down 26, 26 million in Malaysia. That is the study done of the percentage of Muslims in Malaysia. Yeah. Now let's go to the car, the Padlet. Eh? Together, I click the Padlet. You click on the Padlet. It will open. It will open the Padlet today. We're going to discuss on Padlet. Where's the Padlet? Padlet. Click on Padlet. Here we are. We will discuss about... Uh, okay. This is, not, this is not what we want. Ah, wrong. This is not wrong. This is the one. No? Ah, technical error. There has been a technical error over here. Malaysian culture. This is the last week, isn't it? No, no, this is not the one. Gonna clear it now. This is not what we want. I'm gonna gonna clean out this one. This is not I have not. I thought I can't but this doesn't happen that way. Gonna have to redo it now. Topic is more of topic that we want is more of Describe, describe the religious diversity, the reality, the reality, the reality of religious Diversity in Malaysia hmm. describe the reality of religious diversity in Malaysia, but how many is how many is preserved or with how many in preservation with life how many in preservation Ma'abaka'i al-hayah al-mutma'innah al-aman wa-salama Describe the reality of religious diversity in Malaysia or just say the religious diversity in Malaysia no need for a reality Describe the religious diversity in Malaysia with life harmony in preservation hmm. Okay, because life harmony preservation. Still they live in peace, secured, safe and secured, even though different religions um, exist in Malaysia. Okay, that's it. Publish. Describe the religious the, the religious diversity in Malaysia with life harmony preservation. What is this? Oh no, you don't need the draft. I can I can start with the with uh, with three dots. Let's see image. A Malaysian religious 
diversity and I'm, I'm looking for image find me the image we speak you listen 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 and so on religious 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 with the religious one religious nothing that's significant nothing is significant at the moment no it's not that significant hmm not that significant let's look at the youtube i think this could be meaningful really three main religions in malaysia religion tolerance in malaysia this is good religion tolerance in malaysia ah it's meaningful publish i said religion tolerance in malaysia i have another one i'm gonna type on my own muslim are majority of more than 60 percent more than 60 percent hinduism 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 buddhism buddhism and christianity with the double d christianity Ah, uh, are allowed to be practiced without hindrance, without hindrance. The Rukun Nagara, the Rukun Nagara, the Rukun Nagara, Rukun Nagara, Rukun Nagara. Okay, lah. Put another way. They, the Malaysian, share. Malaysian share. The holiday accordingly, accordingly finish publish. Now, I leave it to you. Adrian Tamala has put something in general. The perception of community, both Muslim and non Muslim society, states that there are no major problems, no problem, they are very open. 60% population is uh, causing differences, uh, but in practice, the Muslim government still receive different treatment from the Muslim government. However, overall, the relationship between uh, uh, yes, because Islam is the, is recorded as a national official religion, and number two, for the Malays, especially the Muslim, they are the original people of Malaysia, so they ought to be given advantage for this is your own country the chinese india they can go back to their country because they are chinese in india but malaysian malay they are they are the people over here they cannot go anywhere yeah it's justified but again the tolerance is there understanding is there it's me this is me this is me Brian has said something and others do put your entry and add up to the padlet that when we publish end of the lecture, it will be meaningful and significant because we see answers and ideas from all around the corner from different students. Look forward to you and your product over here. See your product over here. Proceed, proceed, proceed. And I leave you some two, three minutes to fill up, come up with a new idea on this one, Adrian, you can add up more, you can put a video, you can put sticker or images. Please do so, you are free to do so.
or I can just uh, uh, henna akhtar in dusti say something. All religion people, all religious people celebrate their festival, respect each other, connection and communication each other, and, and becomes an example for other nations. Yeah. The harmony and the peace shown in Malaysia will be exemplary that other countries will follow to pay respect to each other. We can come up with this video. Um, it's a three main religion in Malaysia. You can switch it on if you want to see. You can switch it on if you want to see. Brian has contributed two main ideas from her. And the rest, we are looking for more and more inputs. Oh, oh I just leave it to you all. You just continue with this page. Uh, throw in your idea. Okay, complete, uh, complete um, the so-called padlet with your points of views and we'll print out publish end of the lecture of today so as for the time being allow me to continue with our lecture kahoot will be end of this lecture so i will just go just go with the with the lecture in here i'm opening the page for the lecture ken parameswari has mentioned about it you can see over here the notes coming saying who has contributed to the Padlet. This is our lecture notes. Religion, types and building. Now, the percentage of Muslims in year 2010, but every year it's almost the same because the number of citizens is increasing for all religions. So more or less the same. 70, 71 to 61, 70, 61 to 62 percent they are Muslims. Majority now. It used to be Hinduism and the majority before the coming of Islam. When Islam came till now and till the year 2100, as we've shown you earlier, the number of Muslims are increasing year by year, the majority. As compared to Buddhism, number two, only 19.8%. Christianity, number three, is 9.2% Christianity and 6.3% Hinduism. As for the Buddhism, most of them, uh, they follow Taoism, Taoism, some Confucianism. These are the schools among the Buddhism. And if you ask the Buddhism, they say they are not a religion. They are more of, more of ideas, more of thinking. It's not a religion. It's more of, you know, to, to understand the concept of, uh, real, of, of 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 God, concept of God, but not religion, best because they don't they don't have much of ritual. And just like Muslim, five times a day they do the prayer, and then the arkan of Islam they have five tenets of Islam, the shahada, and then the so called. After the prayer, we have the siyam, fasting of Ramadan, and then zakat, of uh, zakat al fitri, and the last is going for Hajj, pilgrimage. But other religions, they don't have much of ritual. It's more like uh, ideas. It's not much of worshipping. Islam is the official religion, the national religion of Malaysia. The government actively promotes the spread of Islam in the country and the friendship with other Muslim countries. Brunei Darussalam, Indonesia, the nearby countries, they are also considered as Muslim countries. architecture the shape of building is very much different but there's another minor minor religion is called sikh sikh is more or less the architecture more or less like the mosque from the outside from the inside very much indifferent so they don't say the prayer like the jama'ah facing the qibla so the internal is more like a hall for the sikh but the from outside more or less the same uh, the building, the architecture of a mosque and the Sikh temple. This is the Hinduism temple. If you see more than 300 um, idols, uh, you know, 
Asna o el Asnam, Timsa, idols, and so on. These are Hinduism because they believe in more than one, many, many gods. And also happened to the Buddhism. The, the architecture, the, the building is a bit different. Eh? It's different. This is the Chinese one. They worship the minor god, and they had the minor god, the, the, the major god. And Christianity, also they say believe in one god, but they practice Trinity. The, the modern Christianity, they have Trinity, three in one. But they still say one god. It's very confusing. So these are four main religions in Malaysia. As, as I mentioned, there are six SIKH six as well, but uh, it's very, very minority. This is the architecture of a mosque. There are differences among states, so on, especially in Malacca. The mosque is in Malacca is like Chinese building, but then this similarity, you see the, the mimbar, the tower, they are the same. Place of worship for followers of Islam, they call Masjid. Masjid, the big one, the big mosque is called Jamia. Jamia, big mosque. But in Malaysia, uh, the big mosque also they can just they can just call Masjid. It's understood if we use the word, if we use the word Jamia, there will be a great great mosque. But it is understood. Masjid is the mosque where the people, the followers of Muslim, perform the Jumu'ah prayer every Friday. The Jumu'ah congregation is Masjid. There are small mosques called Surau or Madrasa, uh, where they don't, the Muslims do not say Jumu'ah prayer. They don't do the Jumu'ah congregation. Just perform the normal prayer five days, a, five days, five times a day. But they do not prefer the Jumu'ah. It's considered a small mosque. It's considered as surau. They name it as madrasa. Um, so the amenities, the utilities the, inside the mosque is preserved by the community who is in charge with the mosque. And all mosques are sponsored by the religious affairs department, which is under the government of each state. There are a portion of salary and maintenance paid by the government. This is the structure of the mosque. We have the doom, the doom, small doom, large doom, Nida, Udu area, the atrium, mimbar, salawat, el Jumaah, where the imam will read the khutbah, then uh, the jamaah will be in front, the imam will be in front. And uh, Usually the most the ceiling will be very high, very high, because of the doom will be on top of it. This is a this is a prayer area. It's big one, line by line. This is the activity done in the mosque. This is the glass mosque in Trangano. Everything is made of glass. So you see, if you put the LED light, digital light, the Glass will be flashy. It's just beside the river of Trangano, and you can see the mosque clearly from the the the, the bridge, the large bridge of Trangano, cross by the so-called Sungai Trangan, the river of Trangano. It's called Masjid, glass Masjid, Masjid Kaca. Uh, if the mosque is filled up with the Prayers uh, with the followers, then they will, the, the late comers will pray outside the mosque. Itijahil Qibla. They are heading the Qibla in uh, Kaaba, in Mecca al Mukarramah. Some who follow the class for memorizing Quran, Tahfiz Quran, also attached to the mosque. These are the young youth, youngsters who follow the Tahfiz Quran classes. And if there is any ceremony, it could be done in the mosque as well, or attached to the mosque. For example, the Akad Nikah, the solemnization of marriage among the Muslims and so on. This is the church uh, in Malacca in Penang. 
the color is uh, for Malacca, they use red color. In Penang, it's white color. As for the mosque, really, it's light colored, light color. It's not that bright. Uh, such of the of the church, we have the pew. We have the table, long table, whereby the Christian people they just you know asking for forgiveness from God. And they just bow down and then can stay on the pew on the pew pew is a long desk and they face they face uh, the idol of Jesus in front they don't have kiblat eh? they don't have the same direction whereby, whereby all of all of the followers perform the prayer it's just internal inside the inside the place okay where, where for the Muslim the kibla actually uh, same direction. Wherever they are, they follow that direction of Qibla, which is Makal Karama Masjidil Haram. And for the church, it's very internal, just internal. You see the form whereby they baptize a new, newly born baby. Uh, those who convert into Christianity, they will have, they will, they will know, they will um, shower with the waters of baptize baptist now that's it uh, this is it uh, nothing much in a it's more like a like a hall and then the new more the new church they have the musical orchestra over here it's more of singing orchestra they have the room where they're gonna meet the priests Seek for forgiveness and so on. Congregation in the in the church is it part and parcel of congregation in the church. It depends on the place, uh, because the Bible could be in any languages of the locals. But uh, for the Muslim, the the Quran should only be in Arabic. There's no other than that. And even the khutbah also is a mix with the local language and. Arabic for the Quran hadith should be in Arabic. This is the church. Now the temple, Hinduism temple in Johor, in Penang, elsewhere. Of course, the, of course, the number of mosques is overwhelming, but still other religions are open. But our concern is look at the architecture, it's very much in difference. Malacca, Chinese temple. architecture more or less the same this is activity done in hinduism temple because they have a lot of gods these are all uh, gods who protect from devil and so on then the main god is inside inside the temple and they worship all of these uh, statue the statue they got the idolize has got and for them, for Hinduism and Buddhism, the same. We need to torture ourselves because life is a torture. Life is pain. We need to torture ourselves just to get the, just to please the God. If you want to get nearer to the God, we need to torture ourselves, which is different to the Muslim. The Muslim, the God asks us to maintain our physical, uh, spiritual, and so on because it's, it's an amana. It's a trust given to the to the owner of the body by God. Look after your physical and do not torture. Do not make it, uh, um, you know, burned by by you know, something that uh, make it painful. It's different concept. Now, activity in Buddhism. This is a big, their big uh, statue of Buddhism. The god like to sleep, <laughs> and then this one, they you know they imagine the shape of the uh, of of the of their gods, get blessing and so on. Uh, but if we use uh, philosophy, the, we do the right thinking. Something is not correct in so much of statue. Because we create the statue and then we worship the statue. And that statue cannot preserve themselves. We have to 
clean clean them we have to preserve them and that's it and if we uh, make our body as a statue we could even be worshipped by others so it's it's a bit it's a bit uh, not true you know it's 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 not doing well with the mental thinking logicism yeah logics and i think that's it we have gone through uh, roughly the concept of architecture of religions in malaysia and the practice at the at the buildings of worshipping and so on i think we are now ready for the kahoot we are now ready for the kahoot can we just go to the kahoot click on the kahoot you will click on the kahoot as much as i click it and then it will open over here it will open the kahoot i will now stop sharing for a while because i need to customize the kahoot uh, gen uh, the kahoot generation we need to get the pin number so i'm looking for the kahoot pin number stay on the kahoot huh? you will stay on the kahoot i'm looking for the kahoot pin number in kahoot pin number still looking for it see all now um gonna go for the yeah it is religion play teach and uh, is generating now religion loading game pin i will copy the pin number and put set our telegram three zero zero seven two three two put inside our telegram first kahoot pin that's it send to you all then go to our chat put inside our chat as well there you are i'm gonna share the screen of the kahoot there we are you move on your kahoot register yes we have five six One more. There's one student who is not feeling well. He cannot attend the class today. My husband is not class today.
Okay, seven got it correct. Majority. Not majority, all of the participants. Ken Paraswari is leading, followed by Hannah and Faruzo. Question two. We have 13 questions for this one. Some say Putrajaya, some say Kuala Lumpur. Federal government administration is in Putrajaya. Kuala Lumpur is the capital of Malaysia, but the government administration is in Putrajaya. Puzzle is taking over. Question three. Hinduism is... The third one is Christianity, first Islam, second is Buddhism, Buddhism, third is Christianity, fourth is Hinduism. The last one, number four. Pausal is leading. Question four. Buddhism is originally from China. Many do not know. Hinduism is actually Buddhism is actually from India, not from China. Ah, uh, Tanvir, but also is far away. The following image. It is not Taoism, it's Hinduism. Taoism is Buddhism. Next. Two religious celebrations among Hinduists in Malaysia. and Taipusam. It's mentioned in the video. Wow, so it's far away indeed. Largest amount of adherents worldwide. Worldwide, and not Malaysia, but worldwide. Christianity, some are not aware, Christianity still maintained worldwide as the largest amount of followers, followed by Islam. Number one is Christianity in the world. Next, Hannah was given a flame of highest ancestry of three. Next, celebration of cultural event. Ceremony, but many got it wrong. Yellow one is the correct one. Korea is getting nearer. Ramadan. Ramadan. Yeah, mostly it's for the Ramadan. Next.
Vad är det här? It's the priest. It's not the imam. It's the priest. Very good. Majority got it correct. Julian Tamala has take over, has taken over the leader. Question 11. The society ruled by religious leaders. Theocracy. Theocracy is God. It's not, it's not democracy, theocracy means the religion lead the people. Theocracy, the blue one. Next, what's the religious place called? It's a mosque. This will be the last question. We'll decide who will go to the podium. Top five will go to the podium. It's secular. It's separate between religion and world. It's secular. Now let's see who are the top five who are at the podium. Yes. We need to... See it now. Number three goes to Ken Kas Panas Pramaswari. Number two goes to Adrian. Let's go back to our page whereby we're going to have a look at uh, our Padlet. Our Padlet. Ah. ah, you've done your part, see? You've done your part pretty well. I think we reach three pages at least, at least three pages. Wow, good. You see, Ken Paraswara, Fausul did something. Yusuf Antala did something. It's wrong without the name. What a pity, you don't type your name, then you don't get the marks. Muhammad Muhsin is here. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Adila here. So we just publish it. And then we'll see. How is it? Sending PDF to the publisher. There we are. Oh, three pages. Only three pages. It combines this and that. It becomes three pages only. Okay, we're going to copy this one. We're going to shorten and then forward to you all uh, the address. Create new one. Create it. This is the long um, URL. Going to type it. MC5, for example. And then just save it. Then we copy the URL. See, put it inside our telegram. This is our product of the day. We have our product on the Padlet and on the Kahoot. And send to you all. 
Double check. How does it look? As we open it, open it. Will it see it opens? Okay, wonderful. That's it. Got it. Yes, let's go back to the page. Go back to the page. And now we've done all of the multimeter. We don't have anything for today. Uh, we've done the resources. That's it. That's it for today. Uh, I have recorded uh, today's class and I may put a copy of our video uh, recording in the in the page. Whereby when you click, you can see, you can view and you can just, you know, uh, look at how our activity is recorded, or our activity on the Kahoot and on the Padlet is recorded. I'll try to put inside the URL inside this page and especially those who do not, do not attend the class today, they can you can have a look at it. Thank you very much for sharing the ideas and everything. Uh, I think this is the end of the class. I will keep the this line open for two minutes and I open, allow and open the microphone and you are free to say anything at all before we leave. Just two minutes and we leave the class. Yes. Shukran Jazilan. Thank you. Durian Tamala says something. Muhammad Musin as well. Thank you. And we will end our class over here. Thanks again for, for being with us today. Wallah ala bisawab. Ila liqa fil subu fil subu al qadim. Till then, Wallah ala bisawab. Class dismissed. I will now stop recording.